Hi guys, Richard here. This is a quick look into how you set up a couch co-op game for using Parsec, which is a desktop sharing application. Um, it's basically used for gaming, so you know it's going to be great. Um, the first thing I would note is, because a lot of people are going to be like, why don't you use Steam Controller? It's super laggy. Steam Controller is just unbearably laggy, and if you're a gamer, then you know what how big of a problem this is. And Parsec, I've never like never really experienced any input lags on it, so it's super, super great. Um, especially if you have a high-speed connection, obviously. Um, the second thing I would note is you need a person with more than... Um, sorry, you need a person with a controller because it doesn't recognize two keyboard inputs because um, there, was like a super, there was like an article basically saying Windows can't recognize it, so I'm, I'm not sure. I think there's a way to emulate your keyboard as a controller, so there, there's some emulators out there, but otherwise, the only way you can do it is you can use a keyboard and a controller. If you have th three friends, then you obviously you need three controllers and one keyboard. As a second note, make sure that the you don't need a host to have a keyboard. For example, if your friend has a keyboard, you're the host, and you, but you have a controller, that's still fine because they can still use a keyboard because you only, they can only recognize one input from a keyboard. Now I'm just gonna go through some general tips. Um, basically, when you first, obviously when you get to parsetgaming.com, download it. I'm not gonna show you the game, like for example, a game and stuff. I'm just gonna show you exactly what to do. So obviously, the two things you need to do, or three things you need to do is one, make sure you share the link out, two, add them as a friend, and three, make sure in the settings you go to approve apps and you approve the game. Now, these three steps should get you to the stage where once they connect or connect into your computer and the game's live, all they need to do is wait for you to get into the multiplayer screen and then they'll just put an input in their controller and they're pretty much signed in as like as if it was you're playing with friends in person. That's it. You don't need anything else. If you really need a tutorial on it, definitely there's some awesome tutorials out there you can definitely check out. But this is just a general guide on how you play couch co-op games. So I just kind of wanted to run through the kind of just of the entire kind of setup. And that's pretty much it. That's how simple it is. Um, the last thing I kind of want to note is there is an approved game list which you probably want to check out. I'll put it in the link uh, in the video description below. Um, I would say that, to be honest, a lot of these games, you probably like obviously heard a lot of these Cash of Crosses, um, Tekken, Children of Mod, which I played, Overcooked, etc. So there's a lot of games out there. If you're looking to buy a game, make sure you check this list first before you do. But just as a note, I did play Unrailed, which is a very popular couch co-op game, and it's not on this list. But it still worked, as long as I approved it in the settings here. So that's just a note. If you want to test it out, I know Steam does the refunds and stuff, so obviously you can test it out if you want. And the last thing is, if you're an online gamer, just remember you only need one copy of the game. Don't go buying four copies if you have four friends. Make sure you only buy one copy because obviously you're just sharing that copy with everyone else. Cool, that's the that's it. I just want to kind of run through um, Parsec and Couch Co-oping and how you do it online. So hopefully that helps. I wanted to keep the video short, so thanks a lot.